Well, what's up YouTube, we're back for another video. If you follow the channel, you probably notice that um, I've been uploading more frequently lately. And I just want to thank everyone for the love and support that we've been receiving. But let's forget about that soppy stuff and let's jump straight into the video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the M32 gearbox, also known as the chocolate gearbox for good reason. We're going to be talking about the symptoms and things that you can look out for, whether you're uh, going to buy one or if you already own one. So the first one, and it's probably the easiest one to spot, if I just put it in first, I can show you this because my car actually does it. Um, if I get the biting point, you can see that slight movement there. So yeah, there's number one. So as you just saw there, there's ever so slight movement in the gear stick. The more movement within the gear stick, the worse the problem is. This is all down to the bearing rollers wearing down and this causes the internal gear shafts to float so if you're going to test drive one make sure before you do anything just get the buying point look at the gear stick and check for any sort of movement because the last thing you want to do is what i'm going to have to do is spend out and get the rear bo uh, the gearbox rebuilt so the second thing you want to be looking out for and staying on the subject of the gear stick uh, when you're in 5th and 6th gear, um, my car does do this in 5th, but I, unfortunately I can't demonstrate it because I need to be driving and trying to record the gear stick. Um, if you accelerate, the gear stick ever so slightly like twitches back to you. And yeah, that's all down to the same bearing wearing down. Like I said at the start... The chocolate gearbox for some reason everything in that gearbox just decides to melt down over time really annoying next one you're gonna make sure you've got good hearing um I, to be honest i think it's fairly obvious unfortunately i can't demonstrate it because my car doesn't do it but what you get is a whining noise coming from behind the glove box now from what i understand this is from about 20 mile an hour onwards and this is all down to the pinion bearings like uh, indenting and like basically like caving in sort of thing so yeah it's all just a pain in the ass um, definitely make sure you're listening out for that because I believe all cars are different so one car such as mine the gear stick will move another car the gear stick won't move but uh, there'll be a whining noise behind the glove box so make sure you're listening out for everything um, if you already own one or if you're looking to buy one and you're on your test drive. So all these issues that occur within the gearbox are all basically down to poor design. Um, the bearing which we spoke about failing sits on top of the output shaft that, held, that holds gears 1, 2, 5 and 6 which is why the problems that I mentioned occurring in these gears is why it occurs in these gears basically. Now what causes this isn't necessarily down to your car being mapped and running high torque even though that might eventually not help it because it's generating more heat but from what I believe is just like long motorway journeys because you're sat in 6th gear you've got maximum load on the engine sending it straight down the input shaft straight onto that bearing and it's only a small bearing and then straight back down the output shaft yeah that makes sense and yeah for long periods of time it's just generating heat up there and which is why eventually it just starts to wear down you can upgrade the gearbox i think for a bigger end gearbox so it holds more fluid on top of the bearing which i'm not sure if it 100 percent fixes it but it should basically um help last the gearbox out longer now is there anything you can do to stop this bearing failing not really spoke about the big end casing so it holds more fluids on top of the bearing the other thing which i recommend um it's not part of the service schedule is make sure every six thousand miles or yearly you're changing your gearbox fluid just to give it that a little bit more help to live a bit longer sort of thing so hopefully this video was somewhat informative and somewhat helped you out hopefully give you more of a standing um, if you're looking to buy a car because it's not just Corsa VXRs there are other cars I can't think of off the top of my head that have this gearbox 
and things to look out for or if you already own a car with this gearbox and you're worried about it sort of thing a little while ago I did find a short clip of um, somebody recording the gearbox wine noise so if I can find that clip I will leave a link to it in the description so that's that for this video hopefully you enjoyed if you did please leave a like rating subscribe if you're new I am trying to upload uh, weekly so yeah I'll catch you in the next one peace